Okay, I think I have enough room to do this. I'm going to do it by integration by parts. Just to remind you, I'm looking for a U, DV, and this will be a UV or VU, whatever you want to write down, minus V, DU. Let's look at it and see if I can do that. So I'm going to say my U in the problem, I'm going to say it's the X. All right, so I'll write this over here. U equals X. That forces me to select a DV now. What's a DV going to be? Cosine X DX. Well, I got to differentiate the U. That's going to be DU. Differentiate the X DX. That's not so bad. I got to integrate. And the always question is, can you integrate that? Of course you can. What do you get? V equals sine of X. All right, let's write this down over here. And what am I going to put down? I'm going to put down the UV now, which is going to be X sine X. Oops. Minus, well, let's see, V, that's going to be sine X times a DU, which is going to be DX. All right, now is this doable? It is. What do you get over here? Well, you get X sine X, that's the first term. And then what do you get? You get minus, let's see, what differentiate sine is minus cosine, so plus cosine, plus some constant of integration. All right, again, what I recommend, you know, certainly when you're studying, is to look at an answer K. If on your own exam, though, I differentiate to make sure I get back what I said I was going to get back. But let's look at the answer key, what it says. It's right over here. You know, X sine X, I got that, plus cosine X plus C. And you're good to go. Thank you.